guys welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're not new it's your girl Rayelle and today I am back with another video and sorry about this whole sun going on it is currently like high 70s in Texas right now so the sun is out the weather's great your girl got some skin out okay <laughs> yeah so right now I'm at Trader Joe's and I figured why not take you guys along with me you know trader joe's grocery shopping and then when i get back to my apartment i will show you guys what you know what my favorites are from trader joe's and what we usually get and what i usually eat from trader joe's so if you are interested in that stay tuned guys so i am back home now and i wanted to show you guys everything that i got from trader joe's so this is gonna be like a little trader joe's haul but i'm also gonna give you guys some of my top things that i really like from trader joe's and what we usually always get frequently every time we go so yeah so i'm just gonna hop right into it i got like two huge trader joe's bags they be filling up these bags to the max literally like they try to put everything in one bag <laughs> so i'm gonna show you guys a little trader joe's haul so one of the first things that we picked up is this chicken fried rice here i really like this fried rice this is not our first time getting this we've been getting this fried rice for a very long time it tastes like your fried rice that you would get from a chinese food spot and it's very very quick and easy to make literally if you just heat up a skillet or you know whatever you're making this in put a little bit of oil heat it up and that's it or i think you could also do it on the microwave as well if you don't want to do it on the stove top but i really really like this chicken fried rice it is really 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 good and of course we got two of these next thing that we got is this barbecue teriyaki chicken when i tell y'all i absolutely love this like I could literally probably eat this every single day. And it's crazy because I never really realized that it's a barbecue teriyaki chicken. Like I always just called it teriyaki chicken. But yeah, it's a barbecue teriyaki chicken. And it is bomb.com. So we would eat this with the chicken fried rice that I showed you guys earlier. Very easy to make. Literally, like these meals, which is why I also like getting stuff from Trader Joe's. Because these meals are so quick it saves us a lot of time and they're also very inexpensive as well i always make these on the stove top 
So it usually doesn't take no more than 20 minutes, if even that, honestly. But if you're a, more of a microwave type of person, then these will be so easy to make. We also got some peanut butter because why not? Like, I love me some apples and peanut butter. Some people may think it's a little weird to eat apples and peanut butter, but it's not. If you know, you know. Like, it's really, really good. Another favorite of mine that we picked up as well is this chicken tikka samosas i really really like this uh, yeah i honestly can't say much it's just like something that i would eat as a snack and i usually eat it like during my lunch breaks at work or you know just a little mini not even during my lunch breaks actually i would eat it while i'm still working because it's just you know tiny little samosas and they're quick and easy to make and easy to eat but I really, really like these. The crunch, everything is right. I usually put these in the air fryer. So they're pretty easy. I don't know if they recommend putting in the air fryer. Oh yeah, so it says you could do it in the air fryer or the microwave or the oven as well. I remember the first time I put it in the oven, but the air fryer is way faster. If you do have one, I recommend putting these in the air fryer, another fave. These mac and cheese bites here, again. If you like mac and cheese, then you will most likely like these, I think. If you like um, like a, so anything with a crunch to it, I think you would like these just because, yeah, it's mac and cheese bites. If you love mac and cheese, then you should definitely like this. It's bomb.com. It's a little snack again. I kind of um, munch on these just like I would munch on the chicken tikka samosas while I'm at work or during a little break as a snack. These are my snacks. And of course, my boyfriend picked up these ice cream sandwiches, which I'm not a big fan of ice cream sandwiches, but he really likes these. So I guess, you know, this is something that we always pick up every single time we go to Trader Joe's. I like ice cream sandwiches, actually. I just, I'm not a big um, chocolate chip type of person. So that's why I don't really like these as much. Let me put these in the freezer, by the way. You don't know what's good. That's why. What about? Like the same basic regular what, what you got what you got actually yes yeah. so let me show you guys one thing that i've been eyeing at trader joe's which i've never actually bought before so it's my first time trying it and i saw it online i was like oh my god i gotta try it but it's these chocolate lava cakes here i've Fiend. never actually Fiend. i've never actually tried these but i'm i'm gonna try it today actually i might try it on camera as well but there was one point where I was literally obsessed with lava cakes <laughs> a few, um, what was it, like a, like a year ago, yeah. two years ago when I was still back in school. I was obsessed. I went through this phase where I was, like, I just had to get a lava cake almost every day. But, yeah, I saw Trader Joe's had this. So I was like, why not give it a try? Like, why not, you know? <laughs> so, I think I'm going to try this on camera. But for now, I'm gonna place these in the freezer as well. Two more things that we don't usually get from Trader Joe's, but we wanted to try them out, is these waffles here. Waffles here. They look super good on the picture, so I was just like, hmm, let's try it. Usually we always make our own waffles and pancakes in the morning, but this would be a good option for when you don't have like that much time and just heat them up really quickly, put them in the oven, call it a day, so. We'll see how these taste. Another first time try are these shrimp burgers. I've been eyeing these at Trader Joe's for a hot minute and I've never tried them yet, but we're definitely gonna try it this weekend for sure. I've never had a shrimp burger before anywhere, like just in general. So I'm excited. I'm a big shrimp person. I love me some seafood, all types of seafood. I love me some shrimp. So yeah, I'm excited to see how these shrimp burgers are gonna taste. Like got some stuff to go with it as well that I'm gonna show you guys. And then the last thing in this bag is just some hash browns that we get. We'll usually have these in the morning with like some eggs and bacon and stuff like that. Put these in there air fryer really quickly and i like to get them really nice and crispy to get that crunch but yeah these are quick definitely would recommend another fave on to bag number two here so of course with the shrimp burgers we have to get the buns like you can't get no burger with no buns right 
So we just got these classic hamburger buns here. Nothing crazy, just get some hamburger buns, you know? And of course we had to get some eggs because for breakfast, duh, we always get pasture raised eggs. We don't get nothing else but pasture raised eggs. Also for the shrimp burger, we got some wild arugula here. We usually um, get like spinach and stuff when we make burgers and stuff like that. We usually put spinach instead of lettuce, but I was just like, why not try some arugula since I also saw it in the picture as well. So I was like, let's try some arugula. I think it tastes good. So that's that. And of course, we're gonna have some tomatoes on the burger as well. And then some avocado because who doesn't love avocado? Like, I know some people don't like avocados, but literally, I can literally eat an avocado by itself. Like, I don't need to put it on anything. I can literally just cut it up and eat it, like, just like that. <laughs> but I'm an avocado person. And of course, to go with my peanut butter, I have my green apples. I literally cannot eat um, peanut butter and apples with any other apples besides the... What is it? The Granny Smith apples? The green apples? That's the only apples that I can eat, really? You with peanut butter? Apples. Nah, I'm good. I only, like, even without peanut butter, I only really eat the green apples. I just, but just my preference, really. And we got some limes here because we love to make lemonada. You know, put some, um, squeeze some limes in a pitcher, put some sugar and stuff like that in it. And, you know, you got yourself a nice summer drink okay i love me some lemonade limeade all types of aids oh wait that ain't sound right <laughs> <laughs> y'all know what i mean no you know you don't how <laughs> weak yo but last but not least another fave from Trader joe's are these drinks here this is the sparkling berry lemonade as i was talking about lemonade literally we got two of these get the other one out so this is the sparkling berry and this is the, just the sparkling limeade just the regular one absolutely love these because if you're looking for lemonade but want a little fizz and a little bit of bubbles i definitely 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 recommend these drinks i absolutely love it it makes me feel a little Fancy, especially if you put this like in a, in like a, what you call it, like a champagne glass, or even like a wine glass, like. But yeah, so that is it for my Trader Joe's hauls. That is it for my list of items that I got for Trader Joe's. You guys know some of my faves now and what I usually get from Trader. So let me know if you guys try any of these items yourselves. I think I was, I said I was gonna try the lava cake on camera so I'm gonna try that I'm gonna heat that up and try it and let you guys know what I think all right so I'm about to go ahead and heat this up really quickly and try it let me see how you make it oh, I could either put it in the oven or put it in the microwave but I think I'm just gonna put it in the oven just because I prefer things in the oven that I don't really like to use the microwave for stuff so I'm gonna preheat the oven to 400 Dang, 15 to 17 minutes? Damn! <laughs> but nah, but why does this only come with two cakes? Like, come on. Like, if I really like this, then I'm gonna probably have to go back to Trader Joe's tonight because, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so okay, so I'll preheat it in the oven, and then I'll put it when it's, I'll put the cake when it's done preheating, and then I guess I'll have to wait. 15 to 20 minutes and I'll be back guys. All right guys, so I went ahead and heated up my orange. Okay. All right guys, so I went ahead and heated up my um, lava cake. So I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. So it looks like this. Looks pretty good. All right, so let's give this lava cake a try. Hmm. I 
like it. I think it's pretty good. Mmm. Actually, it's pretty good, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe if I kind of like didn't let it sit as long, because I feel like I'll probably let it sit for like five or plus minutes. So maybe what that's why when I cut into it, the chocolate wasn't just, you know, coming out like lava. <laughs> but it's still super like soft and smooth. Mmm. It's good. Mm, the edges are crispy. Mm. <laughs> Don't you like with ice cream? With ice cream, this would be bomb. Mm. Damn, it's kind of good for real. It's not all bad. Not bad. I mean, you want to give it a try? Yeah. This is how I can eat. Mm. It's good. Don't say mm, you just put it in your mouth. You didn't even let it like sit and really taste it. It's alright. Mmm, it's good. No, it's actually it's 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 crunchy mm -hmm. and soft on the inside. Mm -hmm. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, like you. <laughs> that is bomb. Dot com. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, mmm. I'm definitely, I'm definitely eating the second one, probably later on tonight. Babe, no, you're bugging. Save it for another time. Why? It tastes good, though. Yeah, save it, save it for a different time. You have other desserts. What dessert do I have? You got ice cream. I don't got nothing. I ain't got nothing else. I bought ice cream yesterday if you want some. Mm. And it's a dairy-free ice cream. Popsicle, too. Cookies and cream. Mm. 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 When y'all eat and the food is good, do you dance? Cause I dance and I get like excited. Cause it's good and it's just <clears throat> yummy in my tummy. Almost, it almost fell. <laughs> yummy in my tummy. But. Mm. Done. Oh, definitely needed something to wash that down because it was thick, but it was bomb. I'm not gonna lie, it was really, really good. Ten out of ten. Definitely recommend. So, Trader Joe's lava cake. It's good. it's good for sure, for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some good recommendations for Trader Joe's. If you know some good Trader Joe's items that I don't have, let me know in the comments down below so I can go pick those up myself. But yeah, leave a, a like as well, comment of course, and don't forget to subscribe to your girl's channel if you want to see more of these videos. Also, if there's any videos that you guys want to see, leave that in the comments down below, leave me some suggestions, and I will see you guys in the next one.